Baby, they can go back because I ain't one of the ones I got. <laughs> happy Monday so I'm off work the next couple of days so I just decided I was gonna film another vlog <laughs> mainly because obviously I was out of town last weekend so I didn't get to film Saturday video as I normally would um so I just figured for Thursday's video I would just do a spend the day with me vlog I'm off work until Wednesday and I'm really happy about that I ain't gonna lie y'all this weekend was a lot so my voice is kind of like in and out. <laughs> but I wanted to come on camera right now because I am going to try this Lancome all over concealer. So essentially I should be able to use this all over my face. Um, I'm not putting on a full like face at all. I'm not even doing anything to my brows. Y'all, this is just how my brows are naturally. No fill in and I'm not doing any of that today. I really just want to see what this product is talking about because I'm going to Ulta to return one of those lashes. I didn't realize these lashes I actually already have and I hadn't worn them yet. So I'm just like, if I ain't worn them, baby, they can go back because I ain't worn the ones I got. <laughs> so I'm gonna take those back. Um, after getting my makeup done and having those very dramatic lashes on, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I kinda liked it. So um, I'm gonna probably have to get me some more dramatic lashes because I don't have a ton. I mean, I may have a couple I could use, but I usually am not like a dramatic lash person, but I feel like in some scenarios, I wouldn't mind it. So I think I will grab me some for now. For primer, let me just grab, whenever I'm just doing my makeup for no real occasion, I try to use some of these like sample primers I have. So I have this Hourglass Veil primer. So I'm just gonna use some of this because honestly, Y'all, I'm not doing nothing that serious. I'm just going to the mall and I'm gonna take myself on a cute little lunch date. Um, I just wanted to just kinda, you know, give myself a day to just do what I wanna do. Um, spend some money on me. Now I did spend some money on myself in Atlanta. Y'all, I bought um, something from Prada. Now, when this unboxing is gonna come, I really want to incorporate um, a collaboration I have, but I don't know when I'm going to get the stuff, but it ties in very well. So it would be really nice to make that a part of that video. Um, so I may hold off on um, filming that, but I also got something from Cartier, which is just something my husband got me. I told you all we do celebrate both of our anniversaries. So August 1st, so yesterday was our four years anniversary of being like together as a couple. So he got me something I wanted. <laughs> if you want to guess, you know, or, or well, you know what? Y'all going to see like a little clip, just a little, little clip of it in the vlog. But if you are a skipper, you be skipping through the videos, you're going to miss it. And I'm not telling y'all where it's at because you should be watching the whole video and don't be skipping my ads. But anywho, let's just see what this is gonna do, y'all, because already the thing is like hard to get out of there. I don't like that. Let's see. Um, hmm. It says spot conceal, so I'm just kind of like, okay, let me see. Maybe I'll just put it in to try to cover the dark spots and let's just see what it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'm not mad. I got some little dark spots over up in there. So let's just see what it does. Okay, that first round didn't really cover that over here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm not applying a ton, so let me not be over here being super hard on it, but we're going to just see. It seems like it's, a, in theory, a good a good idea, so we're going to see what, what it really can do. Okay, so it did cover those little spots over there. And... 
little darkness on the chin. Okay. Y'all, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. So over here, I have some darkness. You can see it peeking through, but I just put a light layer anyway um, over it. So I didn't put a ton. But, um, yeah, no. I'm not mad at this. So this is something I would use probably for days when I'm just like, I don't want to really do much to my, you know, to my skin. I think I like this. So this is the all over concealer. Let me look at it again. Turn the light on. Yeah. So literally if I'm just having a day where I'm like, babe, I don't feel like doing my makeup. And he's like, well, let's just go somewhere really quick. Just throw something on. Yeah, no, I can, I can see me using this for that kind of purpose. Um, or even for like filming days because I'm put like a little layer um, under my eyes just because to conceal the darkness a little bit. But yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not mad at this. Now I would say in regards to like how this feel, it definitely feels like a concealer. It doesn't feel like a foundation. So, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, so I'll keep it. And um, like I said, I probably will use this a lot on days when I film, but I don't feel like doing my makeup. So that may be the days I pull this the most. Like, oh, I don't feel like doing my makeup. Let me just put something over. Because literally I could just do this and maybe like a blush. I must have like it had a weird smell. No, that's not it. Nothing. But yeah, I think it looks good, y'all. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments if this is something you think you'll try. I'm not I'm not mad at this. I'm really not mad at it. Again, you can go on full on coverage with this. I'm just not doing that today because I'm not in the mood for that. Um, like I said, it's just a, a day of me going out and enjoying myself today, which to me doesn't require me to be like fully made up. Like I said, it's not that serious to me, but yeah, that's giving cover. And it looks like skin. I mean, y'all, it looks like skin. And I think I did good with the shade. I could see this maybe being a hair dark in the fall. But y'all know I'm not a big, like, I don't, I'm not someone that's like, if my foundation is like a hair too dark, I'm acting a fool. Like, girl, it's not that serious. Usually it's pretty close. So as long as you're pretty close, you will be all right, girl. You will be just fine. I'm just taking a little bit of this blush just because y'all know this has some shimmer to it. Just to give me a little, you know, little, little bit of a glow. Yep. That and then y'all know I got baby mas uh baby lashes. <laughs> I got baby lashes and y'all know that whole. Well, actually, first let me put on some powder because it definitely didn't say you don't have to set it. So let me put a little powder on. I'm just gonna use the Fenty real quick. Um, just use my powder brush. And y'all know the Fenty gives you coverage as well. So you are gonna get coverage with both products for sure. Okay, there. Then just take that blush back. I'm gonna probably rub it off some and then I'm gonna just put some mascara on I'm not putting any eyeliner or anything like that like I said this is just a this is just a look to look presentable okay my lashes are starting to come back y'all y'all know that that lash extension situation was trash um not that not her fault at all my brow lady did them she does a great job my sister gets hers from her she does a great job it's just me y'all and I'm one of them people that's like, well, let me just try one more time. Let me just try one more time. Y'all, if you're allergic, you're just allergic. Like, <laughs> don't keep trying them. Like, if you got to take 10 Benadryls to wear lash extensions, I don't know if I would say it's worth it. Um, if you feel like it's worth it to keep wearing them, girl, do your thing. But I don't feel like taking allergy medicine a million times a day. And then it, like... Some, for some reason, it stops working because I've taken it like a crazy person. Um, let me just take a little... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Why did I do that? Now, I'm trying to just take a little bit of, like, um, my brush that has bronzer on it. 
to just put like a little on my lid and they'll mess my lashes up. I could do a bunch of coats, y'all, but child, either way, I got short lashes, so it's just kind of like, is it that serious? Not really. Okay. Okay, y'all. And then I'm going to do a lippy. Just going to put my brown liner on. Just a nude, nude lip, just because, again, we're not doing much today. And I'm going to just take this NAR stripped. I don't really care. Just something. Just something to give a little, a little, very minimal, but little co color. Okay. All right, y'all. So, this is my look, my little makeup look for the day. Like I said, nothing crazy. Literally just me throwing something on to feel, you know, cute while I'm out, but not doing too much. Just brushing up my brows again. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and throw my clothes on, and I will probably see y'all once we get in the car. Y'all, we have made it to the mall. I'm a little bit early, so I'm going to just wait in my car for a minute. But I'm excited to go in here. I don't know what I'm buying I just want to have a day to just treat myself. I don't think it's going to be any luxury. Now, y'all don't, don't hold it against me if it end up being something luxury, but I don't think so. I just think I want to get some makeup, maybe pop in Zara, return stuff to uh, Ulta. Yeah, we'll just see when we get in there. You just never know. So, y'all, I will pull you back out once I get into the mall and show you around. So the first stop is going to be Ulta to take the stuff back and Sephora is like right next door or down pretty much next door. So that's what we're going to do next, but I'm just waiting for them to open in probably like another five minutes. So I'll take you all around once I get in there. some money but I'm not finding anything to spend money on so we are having a very blah day with one thing from Sephora, Sephora. so let's try Zara and see if we can find anything in there Be 
Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go on now Joe's. I need to get um, some wine and, and grab. See if they got like some bread. I guess my husband needs some bread, and I'm gonna see what else they got. But y'all know Trader Joe's be packed, so let me turn y'all around so I could be a little less less like noticeable. <laughs> Here is the stuff I got from Trader Joe's. So I got. The blue fin moscato and riesling i love the moscato so i had to try the riesling because i probably would like it too those were only like five bucks i got the two pound of red grapes some bread and some oyster crackers y'all i have to actually go to the grocery store tomorrow but i just got this for today because my husband just needed some bread and then i figured i can get the grapes and stuff from there so that is what i grabbed at trader joe's so y'all, I only got one thing from Sephora. I'm really mad that the mall didn't have anything, um, but whatever. So I just got the Patrick Ta eyeliner, and this is just gonna be for my bottom. So my waterline, so this is the Precision Gel Liner. I think it was, oh, I got the receipt. I think it was $26, so 26 bucks. Um, I normally pay like 20 or 22 but he did put this one on my hand and y'all if you can still see it he literally like marked it and I was like rubbing hard as heck and look how much is still left so I think it's gonna be good so I'll let y'all know about that and then I got a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury foundation I was gonna try it out but then I was like you know what I have so many foundations let me stop buying them until I like really know if I want them because I have some foundations I bought that I didn't return that now I'm just like I could have did without it so I just had her give me a sample and she filled this all the way to the top so I'm going to use this this weekend when I do my makeup to see if I like it she gave me the shade 14 warm so when I was looking on the Sephora site it was saying like 12 and 13 and I'm like mmm maybe 13 if it was like my like summer shade or winter shade but right now i'm just a little bit tanned so i don't know nothing about no 13 working the 14 is what looked like a good match so we will see if i love it i'm definitely going to go back and grab it because again i i love a good foundation like i would say that's probably like my favorite um uh, makeup product is like a good good foundation because to me that's just your base so if the base is hitting everything else should fall in line for the most part so i love a good foundation so i will let y'all know about that foundation but yeah that's pretty much it so again didn't get to do much um just got the stuff from sephora and got the stuff from trader joe's i'm probably just gonna do some online shopping <laughs> because i just have this like itching uh, like itch to shop um and who knows why that is but i just do so i'll probably go see if i find something online that i really want I don't know but for the most part I don't need anything it just was kind of like that whole let's just go to the mall and spend some money but it didn't really work out in my favor because I didn't have any good luck but it's all good y'all this is wrapping up the spend the day with me vlog because the rest of the day I look tired I'm gonna take the little bit of makeup I do have off and get up in that bed y'all so I will see y'all in the next one please don't forget to like this video comment down below if you're loving all of these vlogs <laughs> subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your family and friends i appreciate your support i'll see you in the next one